It finally happened. I'm in the closet beta of the new GOG launcher. And it's pretty, pretty cool. Look at it. You have a search feature here. You can search by title, achievement, critics rating, game time, genre, last played platform rating. It's amazing. First of all, comparing this to the Xbox launcher, in the setting here, you have your language. And that's really cool, because you can set up the language. And yeah. Then integration, as you can see, I connected a lot of my profiles. I connected, I didn't connect the Xbox Live yet. But basically, uh, when you do this, you click connect, and ask you like your details to, to log in in every launcher. Let's say Epic Game Store, ask my my Epic Games name and the password, and then you can connect it. Same for Origin, Steam, Uplay. That's really, really cool. Here you can manage your notification. And you can select where you want your game to be installed. It's actually my, not my main hard disk, where it's Windows is installed. It's my secondary hard disk with all the games. I mean, it's not the SSD, because I have a lot of games that you can see. I don't install them all, and maybe if I have a game that I play every day, yeah, I can consider installing that in the SSD. But yeah, I would, I would say like, uh, here, maybe a second installation folder would be cooler, but already like this, it's already amazing. You have basically have everything you, you need. Uh, game feature, out of date games, cloud save, achievement, game time tracking. It's really cool if you go here, you see activity, it shows like, I, right now I just added every launcher, it says that I got an achievement in Borderlands 2, that I played 10 hours in Dauntless, and that I reached 5 hours in Slime Rancher, 5 hours in The Witness, and on and on and on, 25 hours on Destiny. And it's also really cool, you have a friend feature here with a search bar, a plus, and a manage tab for groups. Very, very cool. And what else? Uh, recent, uh, you can see all the games that I recently played, like Borderland, The Pit. Played Warframe recently, apparently. I don't know why, the only game that is not here, that I played a lot, is Minecraft. <laughs> and here, we have recently played by Hudders. Here you can see, game added. From the platform that they are coming from, like Steam, Epic, Origin. I have a couple games on GOG as well, here. I got Soma, The Witcher, Shadow Warrior 2. Uh, this was a giveaway, and same for Soma and for a Shadow Warrior. I downloaded Gwent, I never had time to test it out, and I don't remember the others. <laughs> uh, about Origin, I got the Sims 4, you play, I have a, lo a lot of Assassin's Creed that I never played. I actually have a secondary Steam account, but it doesn't seem like I can connect two Steam accounts at the same time, right here, if I do integration, I cannot connect two Steam accounts at the same time. So if you disconnect, you can connect other things. So I have way more game, even in the other Steam account. It's cool that if you want to look only at the Epic game, you click Epic, and here you have the, the game that you have on Epic. If you want the game that you have on Steam, you go here, that's the game that I have on Steam. That's, that's really cool. It's a really cool setup. I really like the new launcher. I think it's my favorite launcher so far. I wanna see, let's say, if I have... If I click on this one, Observer, that I never played. You see, you can raid it. Let's try maybe all games. Let's check Warframe. Maybe we have some comments here. Uh, you have the, the achievement. We have the critic score right here, 71 out of 100. I don't know where this number is coming from. Doesn't look like you can see 
comments this is an overview this is my progress you can click here and look at the achievement for from is overall it's a great game it's one of the game where i have a lot of hours and yeah there's a full list of the recent recent it's not properly probably working because i i just added them all I also know that you can change probably the thumbnail of the game from right here from media you can just add a picture if you want to from title very very nice also for the game that are missing a thumbnail like this one is a pretty old game they probably didn't consider about getting a thumbnail for it and that's about it i i really like it one thing that it's not i mean we have the store here i gotta say here is just the white theme that i don't like it's way too white for me. You can see all games and the feature one. You have a search bar, price bar, system. Also in old games, you, you can filter here. It's great. You can filter for Windows or all game. Mm, that's it. That's all I wanted to show. You can group games by even by tags and it automatically if you have two games it's only showing one of them can you reorder this you can't reorder this this is default hmm. so you can't man manage the order of these platforms okay Let's search for, I don't know, Gloria Victis, it works perfectly. And how do I see, like really, really quickly, if the game is installed or not? I can't, I see that it's from Steam, just overing. But how do I check if the game is installed, by the way? Gloria Victis is a great game. No critic score. I actually don't see if I have the game installed from right here. Hmm. I maybe I have I just have to filter. Oh maybe I just have to do this. Gloria Victis and then I filter. Uh, status installed. Oh, that's great. I I I definitely like a lot this launcher. Uh, what if I go back? Oh, I just go back that way. Uh, one thing that I would like to see is like to see something for creators. Cause there's not that much here right now. You have everything you need for games. But not for creators. Like in that case, in in the live Xbox launcher, you have something like for creator codes, something like that. And here you have a sync integration, but you can redeem codes. You're nice. You can add game manually. You can scan scan folder. But there's nothing about creators. I think that's the only thing it's missing right now. What about the size of this? Can you change the size of the thumbnail here? That's amazing. Great view. I already knew that this launcher was great. I think overall it's twice as better as the 
Microsoft launcher one. Just wanted to show this because not many have the opportunity yet. I prefer this one compared to Steam and the Windows uh, Xbox Live one. And yeah, hopefully it's gonna be really really cool. Uh, for now I'll hand here. Uh, yeah, goodbye.